guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss eva wamboy and i'm so glad to be here today i'll be talking more about how to save while on a tight budget now i know we've been there we may be there <laughs> or we may have been there or you know it may come it will come <laughs> so how do we save while on a tight budget again I'm making a number of assumptions you are a single person um don't have a lot of uh, responsibilities we're just trying to see how can we manage our money the little money that we have um to ensure that we have saved to ensure that you know we still have our goals met we still have food we, st we are still paying rent and all those things yeah and by single i mean not single like relationship single but single like you're just responsible for yourself okay all right number one if you can stay at home with your parents please do if you can please do because this will enable you to save more money you will not have to worry about rent electricity water um and this is if your parents allow you to stay <laughs> I know that some of us, their parents would tell us, you know, once you reach this age, once you're done with college, please. Jipe <laughs> Shugli. Anyway, if you're able to stay with your parents, please do. For not a very long time, by the way. For a, just a short time so that you can save money. And especially if you if you just, um, maybe you just finished school and you've, you found this, you got this job, uh, this new job. You know, when you're starting out that first when you're thinking of moving out, you need a lot of things. You need your bed, your 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 your, your cooker, your couch, maybe uh, you know a table and all of these things. You can stay at your parents' house for a short time as you save money from you know the money that you're getting um from your uh, from your salary. Say salary, all right, salary, so that you can uh, be able once you're ready to move out, at least you can be able to start and you have a few uh, appliances and equipment here and there as you start like your new home. So if you can, please stay at home. Or you can stay with a relative if you're not able to stay at home. If you stay, if maybe your relative is close by um, where you, you have a relative close by to where you work or the area where you work. If it is okay, I know sometimes kuna uh, kwanga na mashida, but anyway, if you can, please do. Or you can stay with a friend. You can share costs. I actually, uh, we share costed. Is that English? Yes. I lived with my friend. We lived together for, I think, six months. And it really helped us. That time we were earning very little money. And uh, at least when we brought our monies together, we were able to get a house. At least we could we could we could go to work we could have food we could do a number of things so if you can share cost with a friend because it lowers down your uh your expenses significantly uh, but you also have to be on the same page on you know the things you're buying and all of that so that at the end of the day you end up saving and not spending more money so you can in terms of housing you can either stay at home if you can it enables you to save money you can stay with a relative who lives close by to your place of work or you can share cost with a friend but even while you're staying at home, please honor your parents. Honor your parents. Uh, please contribute to something in the house. You know, don't just stay there. You're earning money and you are not doing anything. Please contribute to the house. Contribute something. You may not contribute everything, but contribute something. You can give towards food, like a small portion. You can contribute towards tokens. You can contribute towards water. Please honor your parents or even honor your uh, your relative while you're staying with them. Uh, number two, work from home if you can now. I'm going to speak mostly to those people who are self-employed and maybe you have a business out there. Maybe you've rented an office uh, out there. Now, rent an office if your business is able to sustain that office comfortably but if you can work from home and still deliver the services that you need to deliver from home then there's no need of paying for 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 rent somewhere else in an office if you can work from home and you can still deliver the services in the same way then you can please work from home and save that money but if your business is able to pay for rent well and good i know even as businesses continue to increase uh, you want to have an office where your clients can come and all of that, please, by all means, go for that. But if that is something that you can save on right now, please do so. And um, 
also working from home for those who are self who are employed um you can if you if your boss can allow you to work from home or if you have a work from home policy please take those opportunities because it helps you to save on transport and if you're on a tight budget that money can really help you number three do not be afraid to say no now i know hapa tunakwanga to me sometimes we feel like ah what if i say no what will my friend say and sometimes that uh, this money you don't even have please if somebody asks you can we go out for something if you do not have money you don't have to go just say no they will understand if they are truly your friends <laughs> They will understand or do an activity that does not require you to spend money. You know, you can come go to the, your friend's house or they can come to your house and you can just cook some good food at home. You don't need to spend like extra money. We are to, remember, we are talking about you are on a tight budget. So we are trying to save up on areas that, you know, would we would easily spend money on, especially when we are on a tight budget. So do not be afraid to say no. If you're not able to do something, please tell them no. It's okay. It's allowed. Number four, for those who buy lunch at work, please, would you consider cooking more? <laughs> or not even cooking more, rather carrying food from home so that you don't end up end up uh, spending money on uh, lunch when you go to work this is an area that you can try if you've never tried this before you can try for for one week and see how much money you are able to save maybe you spend around um 150 or 200 every day per lunch and that means in a week that is a thousand that means in a month it could range between 1000 uh, 4000 to 5000 and so you might as well use that money for something else and you can carry food from home so that you don't have to buy food uh lunch um when you are at work number five do not spend money that you do not have now i know sometimes we are very tempted eh? you 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 are spending money but it is money that you do not have this means that you are going to go into a loan somewhere or you are going to ask a friend somewhere uh to give you some money so that you can spend on something now do not take a loan or do not get into debt for consumption i mean don't go into debt because you want to eat ice cream don't go into debt because you want to buy a shoe honestly please don't do that buy a shoe because you have the money for it but you're not going into debt to get a shoe if you're going into debt to get a shoe i don't think you really need that shoe maybe you want that shoe but it is not a need i am sure you might have shoes do not go into debt to feed your lifestyle or for consumption or on something and you will use it today night Aisha. not unless it is an emergency emergencies are allowed something can happen you do not have money but you have to spend money that's okay but do not get into debt for consumption or because you are feeding a lifestyle please use money that you have for that ice cream or that chocolate don't get got don't fuliza or don't um um i'm sure for a chocolate and i'm speaking to me <laughs> and to you because i know i know that we find ourselves in such situations get loans to invest if you're getting into debt get a loan to invest in in an asset or to invest in yourself to invest in knowledge uh, because that investment will have a benefit in there future number six look at what you can cut out from your budget and you may need to make sacrifices just for a short period of time uh you are on a tight budget because maybe there's something that you need maybe you are you know like things are tough because something happened an emergency came and now you know they've just messed up um your your, your budget look at your budget and see what you can cut out or what you can reduce <laughs> i'll tell you a story so last year uh my shower blew uh my shower it blew and uh it blew and i didn't have money to 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 repair uh, even till now i have not bought a uh, true story i have not bought uh, a shower head so what that means is that every day i wake up and i boil water with my kettle uh, so that i can get hot water for showering but in that month that uh, the shower head um, blew and i've not been able to replace it in that month or rather prior to that month my electricity bill was ranging from 1200 i remember there's a time i paid 1400 Yes, it was quite in a range up for 1100 to 1400. 
I'm telling you the following month after consistently like I, I, I boiled my water for my for for showering with my kettle for a whole month the next weeks the next month's bill came to 680 and I was like do you mean to tell me that this shower is the one that was consuming a lot of electricity? The next month it came to 520. The next month it came to 480. This other month I have paid uh, 520 for electricity. Now, I am not planning to buy a shower head right now. I hope to buy a shower head, um, but it will depend on my sources of income but that is an area that i saw okay i could actually use that 500 extra on something else that may actually be a need because at the end of the day i will get to shower whether you are showering with a shower head whether you are showering with uh water that you've boiled you will still get to shower so that is something that i decided you know what i'm gonna cut this out because i could actually save uh, money on that that extra 500 is very important now i will eventually replace my shower head but not now i'm, I'm still going to like um uh, save that money uh, for something else so you can look into your budget and see what is it that you can cut out you know uh, so that it can help you in that situation that you know is is making you feel like you know you are in a tight budget look at what you can cut out from your budget number seven and the last one and i talked about this in our last video remember that god will take care of you god may not give you everything that you want but he will give you everything that you need and sometimes we think that uh, what we need what we think we need <laughs> It's not God what things we need, you know? Sometimes what we need, or, so, or sometimes what we think we need, we may think we need that ice cream, we may think we need that uh, chocolate, we may think that we need, uh, you know, uh, maybe even that Netflix subscription. Um, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe you can live without, but you can be sure that God will give you everything that you need. You won't sleep hungry, you will have food, you will have shelter, you will have money for electricity, you will have money for water. If it is a shoe that you need, God will provide for that shoe. Come on, Ngo, God will provide for that piece of clothing. And so remember that God will take care of you. He will supply you with what you need, even while you are on a tight budget, when you feel like, oh my God, my world is collapsing, how am I going to be able to do it? just for that season god will give you what you need and remember what we think we need may not be what we need it may be what we want but god will always give you what you need i am a true testament of that <laughs> some of the things that i thought i needed i truly never needed them but the things that you truly need like the ones you cannot survive without imagine god will take care of you God will ensure that atacheza tukayeye, everything that you need, he will supply to you. So now, please be encouraged, even while on a tight budget, God will take care of you. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section. Uh, let's engage, let's engage. Uh, like this video, share with your circle to anyone you think will find this beneficial. Remember to watch the ads and I will see you on the next video. Remember to thrive and not just to survive. Bye-bye.